Oh, yes. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video, I'm going to film for all you big game hunters. I'm going to braise some elk shanks. That's right, I'm gonna prepare a beautiful braising liquid and braise off these elk shanks in my Dutch oven. This technique, all you big game hunters, you could use with all your roast cuts from your hindquarters, such as the top round, the bottom round, the sirloin tip, although that's a little tender, but you could certainly braise it off. But um, yes, beautiful way to prepare this venison. I love it. You're gonna love it. Along with it, we're going to glaze. We're going to make a red wine glaze at the end, and that's how we're gonna serve this beautiful elk shank. So, elk shanks, let's take a look at this, these ingredients. All right, so these are our ingredients. Here's our elk shanks. Beautiful. They are beautiful. Our standard mirepoix. Onions, carrots, and celery. And I went ahead and I fortified the onions with about three good-sized shallots, bay leaves and parsley, some minced garlic, some all-purpose flour, and I have this beautiful hot Cabernet Sauvignon that we're going to use throughout. We're going to deglaze our pan and create our braising liquid, and also we'll be making our wine glaze at the end of the deal. I'm frying some uh, stock, some homemade stock on the stove. Excellent. Oh, and there's our Dutch oven. Yes. Let's get it going. Let's fire these elk shanks. All right, so seasoning these uh, elk shanks with kosher salt and freshly cracked black pepper. These are beautiful. They are beautiful. So I'm gonna continue to finish seasoning them all the way around. I'm going to dredge them in the seasoned flour. Then we're gonna sear them off. All right, just wanna give you a little, little assembly line look, see? So our elk shanks are seasoned. I'm gonna dredge them in some flour. Then we're gonna sear them off in this beautiful Dutch oven. That's where we're gonna be completing our braising liquid. All right, we are ready to sear. Here we go. Beautiful. Wow, these are beautiful elk shanks. This elk is so fresh. All natural. I guess you could even call it organic. Why wouldn't you call a wild beast like this organic, right? Gonna have to heat just a little bit here. I don't want to overcrowd the pan, my Dutch oven, so I'm gonna wait until one of those pieces come out before I add another piece. Beautiful. Excellent. It's been a couple minutes. Let's turn them around. Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent. Pull this out. Got a couple more pieces here. Beautiful. The aroma that's coming off this seared venison is very mild. 
very mild. And sometimes when you cook um, ground beef, you get that beefy, sometimes not very pleasant, but this uh, venison, this fresh elk, it's just giving off a very mild, very mild aroma. So I'm going to continue to sear the remainder of our shanks and we're going to start on a raisin liquid. Alright, just turn these guys around. Beautiful. Alright, done searing. This go in with our carrots. Give them a couple minutes. All right. Let's have the onions join the party here. At this point, I'm going to add a little vegetable oil. Alright, let's give them a couple minutes. Alright, they've been going on for about a minute and a half, maybe two. We're going to give them some more, cook them through a little more. Alright. Go ahead and toss in our celery. And at this point, I'm gonna, I am going to hit a little salt, fresh cracked pepper. Give it a nice little stir. Let that go for a moment. That mirror ball looks beautiful. I think we're ready. In go the, the garlic. Wow. Mmm. The aroma is coming off the pan. I'm going to let that garlic go for a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and add the bay leaves right now. I'm going to get a little toasted with the oil that's in there. Okay, in comes the wine. I can smell the garlic, I can smell the bay leaf. That's about a cup. And scrape off the bottom. I'm gonna let that go, I'm gonna reduce that down. All right. So she's reduced to about half. In go the stock. It's about the same amount in volume, stock. And we're gonna let that come up to temp. All right, so. Having tasted the lip raising liquid, it still needs a little bit of base. So I'm going to add some Worcestershire. And I'm also going to fortify the flavor. This is better than bouillon base here because I think it needs it. 
like do have that homemade chicken stock in there with absolutely no salt or sodium since I made it from scratch so all right looks like I have the braising liquid right it's about where I want it so in go back in and they may not all fit back in I'll tell you the shanks That's pretty full. So I'm gonna let this come up to temperature, meaning I wanna bring it up to a uh, simmer. Then we're gonna put it in a uh, 350 degree oven that is that I have set and she's ready to roll. So just uh, let me turn up the heat just a little. This thing to come up to a, a gentle simmer. We'll put the lid and then she goes in the oven. All right, she's a simmering. She's gonna go in the oven. Going in the oven, she's simmering. I have the oven set at 350. Well, here we are, four hours later. Mm -hmm. Much of the liquid has cooked away. It looks marvelous, I haven't tasted it, but I'm gonna let it cool down. I'm going to strain some of that, that liquid and we're gonna plate this up. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Excellent. The shanks are resting, so let's let's get on that wine glaze. Let's finish this wine glaze. I got one of my famous saute pans. All right, the pan is hot. Let's hit it with some shallots. Hit it with some shallots. We're about to sweat it through. Let's hit it with some wine. About, about a cup and a half. Let's do a little more. Gonna let that reduce down. Excellent, so we're just reducing, reducing the wine. Let's give her a taste. Oh, I tell you what, that's pretty good. Okay, we turn it on low. Excellent. Now I'm gonna hit it with a little cornstarch slurry. Let it come to a let it thicken up. Beautiful. It's thickening up really nice. Now at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and add some dried cranberries to the sauce here. Oh, that looks beautiful. Uh, 
That looks beautiful. Look at that. This wine sauce is just about finished. The cranberries have macerated and plumped up. Let's give her another taste. Mmm. Wow. This plate, this plate, this elk, shanks, this plated up. And there she is, all plated up. Beautiful. Got the wine sauce, the dried cranberries, the ragu of um, uh, uh, green beans, carrots, and some onions. I have some whipped potatoes down there. Looks beautiful. You know what comes next? Let's taste it. All right, let's taste this. Man, that's beautiful. I love that wine sauce. Here we go. Ooh, some of the whipped potatoes, some of that wine sauce. Mmm. Holy smokes. Mmm. Wow, that was delicious. That elk is so clean tasting. You would think that'd be gamey or, but no, very mild. Wow. Mmm. Very mild, very tender, very rich, very awfully, almost uh, like an uh, iron type of flavor, like a liver and onions type of, very lean. That was good. So, all you uh, big game hunters, this is your recipe. You can't go wrong with that. So, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope you liked this video. And we'll see you guys here next time on The Guy Show. Goodbye, everybody.